Okay, so I don't really like doing what I'm about to do, but I feel it's necessary right now because on my Green Day 21st Century Breakdown review, I got a lot of hate from that. And there was some warranted hate. Some of the people did give good reasons as to why they didn't like it, and that's fine with me. But, um, but some people said the stupidest things I've ever seen. Or not, not that I've ever seen, obviously, but really stupid things. So I want to respond to some of them, I guess. Let me just say, that review was after me listening one time to the album. So uh, some of my opinions have changed. For example, I like Act 1 better than I did before. Christian's Inferno and 21st Century Breakdown, the song, are actually pretty good. And Viva La Gloria is also very good. I enjoyed it more. I've gotten to listen to some of the lyrics better. So I understand the story better, which is some people's complaint at my review. So that was on me, okay? That was completely my fault. Let's blame it on me. But there were a bunch of arguments that I have to, I guess, counter, whatever. Um... People, a lot of people said, why'd you, why'd you give the album such a bad review? Oh, it's horrible. You, 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 you disgraceful. Well, actually, um, I'm guessing these are the people that listened to the first three minutes of the review because I gave Act 1 a bad review. I did, and I just said that I, it, my opinions of that have changed a little. But, um, if they look at the Act 2 review, I gave it a great review that part of the album i thought it was fantastic and act three i thought was decent but um nothing really stood out besides horseshoes and hand grenades to me which still stays the same in my mind um but if you look on the side i put overall 6.5 out of 10 now to me a six is decent and a seven is good so it's somewhere in between decent and good and somehow people assume that that's bad yeah no that doesn't really make sense now does it um, next, people are saying, oh, why can't they talk about politics? American Idiot was their highest selling, most successful album, and they've evolved since Dookie. It's true. That's one of the reasons they've be able, that they've been able to stay um, important and relevant is because they haven't stayed as the same band. For example, like Rancid, who I happen to like a lot, haven't really changed that much, and that's why Green Day's ahead of them. Um, but... What I'm saying is not that they can't talk about politics or whatever, but that I would have liked a little more lightheartedness. Like maybe even if you just put a, a little song at the end that was just a punk pop song. That's all. That's all I need. It's not like I'm not telling them to recreate Dookie or Kerplunk. I just wanted maybe one song of lightheartedness. It's no big deal. Um... Argument number three is that uh, American Idiot was too mature for me. Well, this is kind of a strange thing to say because the song American Idiot itself was pretty much an F you to Bush, essentially. I mean, I think we all get that in the government. Um, but the rest of the album was a rock opera, as people said. It was a freaking rock opera. But uh, how it was too mature for me i don't even get it i don't even know why he said that whoever did because i like that album i just said they didn't need to make another one of it or like such a close follow-up that's all um argument number four was uh this is specifically to one person who was actually very smart he criticized me highly but he had legit reasons so that's fine um he said that uh you said he said he he told me that I said um, seventy minutes was too long for a rock album, and then he cited the Kinks, the Beatles, U2, all those great bands um, that they would make seventy minute albums. And I think he he misinterpreted it because I didn't say seventy minutes was too long. I just thought it was very long for a rock album. Not too long though, and especially for a Green Day album, because I, it's probably their longest album. I don't remember any of their albums in the 90s being this long, and uh, American Idiot wasn't, I don't think, was this long. But it was probably close. So I'm just saying it was very long. That's it.
that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, now this, this one is the one that really pissed me off. Chris CLJ Chris or something, whatever his name is, said, you're completely anti-Green Day. Now, I, uh, most people will probably see this and already realize how stupid of a thing that is to say. But, just for the sake of argument, yeah, I'm so anti-Green Day that I went and bought their record. I'm so anti-Green Day that I have Bullet in the Bible, their live concert. Um, American Idiot, I have Dookie and Insomniac, and I plan on completing their discography as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm completely anti-Green Day. I'm s it's such a stupid thing to say. If I was anti-Green Day, I wouldn't have bought the album, and I wouldn't have reviewed it, okay? Okay? That's such a stupid argument. Um, and people are saying, oh my god, this album is a masterpiece, you're stupid because you don't think so. This ties in with the bad review thing. How am I stupid for not thinking an album is a masterpiece? What about, like, freedom of speech? I have my own opinion. Just because I don't think this album is a masterpiece and you might disagree with me, which is fine, um, you, you can't just say, oh, I hate you because you don't think this album is a masterpiece. That's a ridiculous, ridiculous thing to say. I can have my own opinion, and you can have yours. We don't have to argue about it. So, everyone, that's it. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Oh, and by the way, thank you for uh, the people that would say, I disagree with you, but I don't understand why people are insulting you. Thank you. You guys are great people. Um... Because you you know that you can disagree, but you don't have to attack me for for it. So thank you.